bolero. Okay. Now, uh, how many of us ever danced the bolero before? All right, a couple of hands. All right. Uh, who can tell me a little bit, just blurt out things, a little, little bit about the dance called the bolero? Anyone? Go ahead. This. Okay. Well, then I'll tell you. All right. Now, first of all, the bolero is the slowest of the Latin American rhythm dances. Let me say that, let me say that again. The bolero is the slowest of all the Latin American rhythm dances. Now, you look at samba, you look at salsa, the mambo, the rumba, the cha-cha-cha. Those are all, rumba is probably right in front of the bolero as far as being slow in tempo. But we're going to play some music in just a little bit. Uh, bolero is very slow, written in about 34 to 36 measures per minute. Those of you who don't know what that means, it just means it's slow. Okay? That means every measure is in four counts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now the basic rhythm of a bolero is slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. So that means that every time you say slow, you're going to count beats number one and two. Slow. That's one, two. There are two beats in the slow, one beat in every quick. So beats number three and four will be your rocking step, which will go three, four, or quick, quick. So first of all, then we're going to learn the gentleman's part about the bolero. But since we already know that it's the slowest of the Latin American rhythm dances, what else can we know of the bolero? It is a very a sensuous, romantic style of dance, all right? Very sensuous, very romantic when you're dancing this with your partner. The music will lend to that flavor. Anytime, anytime you're dancing to a bolero, you will hear the music will be very slow. Those of you that come to my Palm Coat, up in my Daytona Beach Dance Classic coming up on February 13th. And you will see Bolero dance at different levels, from the very beginner basics to the most advanced. Also have a fabulous professional show, and a couple that will be performing will be performing it at a much higher level, but nevertheless, the music will still be the same. Slow, quick, quick. Now, since we already know it's slow, and the rhythm, it also is characterized by another, another element in another dance called the waltz. Now the waltz is characterized by rise and fall, right? When you do waltz, one, two, three, one, two, three. That is the same characteristic in dancing the bolero. When is that done? Is for the gentleman, you set, you're going to start your basic by standing on your right foot, you're going to have your left foot free to the side. You will flex your right knee and then move to your left for slow. Oh, by the way, Jean's taping over there, and she wanted me to make sure to mention what Jean just don't <laughs> stay out of the way of the camera, right? Right. Okay, I want to make sure I said that. Jean? So, gentleman's part is this. Standing on the right, your left foot free to the side. You're going to slightly flex in your right knee and then move yourself to your left foot for the word of slow. Notice this is the downward action, and then you're going to rise at the end of the slow. There's two beats in the, in the, in your first set, it will go slow, now you're going to fall for your quick, quick. Now you're going to do the same thing, gentlemen, to your right. Slow, and then very small rocking step for quick, quick. Yes? So gentlemen, let's do this together. The other thing about the bolero is that when you are in dance position, I want you gentlemen to think you're dancing a waltz. All right? Think you're dancing a waltz. So here you are. Now when you were to dance a rumba, or a cha-cha, or a salsa, those other Latin rhythm dances, you would dance right here with your partner. You're doing salsa, da 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 rumba, slow, Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, right? 
cha-cha-cha, same in one, two, cha-cha-cha. So the steps are small, you're standing in front of your partner, and you have what we call the compact Latin hold. But for the bolero, it has a different position all to itself. Your bodies are much closer. You are in the offset position as if you were dancing a waltz. Gentlemen, you're going to hold your arms up. You're going to point your left foot to the side. Ladies, you will point your right foot to the side like so. All right, ladies will move when the man moves. Hopefully the man will hear the beat and go slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. You have a rise, a fall. A rise and a fall. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So the point I want to make here, gentlemen, hey, Frankie, there you are, hiding back there. Let's see you out there. Hey, Tom. All right, so the point I want to make here is in the bolero, think of, gentlemen, when you take your slow, your side step, that is going to be the larger step. Think of waltz, one, that's your larger, that's your down step, right? Same thing in the bolero, except you're moving to the side. Ladies, you will follow the gentleman by also taking a larger side step for your slow. Then from here, gentlemen and the ladies, your quick, quick, or your rocking step. For the gentleman, the first one is back, forward for the ladies, quick, quick. Now you're going to go to the other side, larger step, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. So guys, I want you to know how I'm holding this young lady right here. This would be if I was dancing a cha-cha, a rumba, or a salsa, or even a samba. This would be my position for any of those other Latin rhythm dances that are highlighted by hip action and no rise and fall. Whereas the bolero, because it is the slowest of the Latin uh, rhythm dances, you, we get to do a little bit extra things, such as take, take these larger steps for the slow, and then we have this rise and fall. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, Henry, now to... Now to what a bolero sounds like, again, the music will be slow. It should sound very, here's the word, we're adults, sensuous, okay? Now, Henry, you can play that uh, song for us. Gentlemen, you have your left foot to the side. Ladies, right foot to the side. Here comes the beat. Slow, go quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. So quick, quick. Yes. Yes. Okay. Are there any questions before we proceed, Danny? You got any questions? You got any questions on the bolero? No, we're just. Oh, yeah. Rob. No, we were. Well, we were just coming. So you always turn on that back step. Ah, very good. Very good. Yes. Now you can actually turn on. Yes, the the turn where should it occur? In a turning basic, for the gentleman, it is much easier when the gentleman is doing the, and here, here again, gentlemen, when you move to your left, your right foot is the back step, quick, quick. When you move to your right, the left foot is a forward break, quick, quick. However, I want to make a point, it's much easier for the men to turn on the back break, you can make a, qu a quarter turn to a half a turn with this entire body. Now, gentlemen, you're dancing with the lady, just remember a couple of little helpful hints. Keep your funny bone right here, funny bone, keep it over your hip, right here over your hip. So as you turn, everything turns together, okay? Same thing with the left elbow, keep it over the hip. So when you do make this turn, the lady turns with you. You understand what I'm saying, guys? So keeping the elbow over the hip. Elbows do have to be up at the same time. So let me just point that out before we go into the pattern I'd like to teach tonight. 
So here you are. Now again, guys, you're in the offset position. Offset meaning right side of the gentleman to the lady's right side. You're closer to the lady than you would be in any other Latin dance. Your elbows are up as if you were going to dance a waltz. Gentlemen, your left foot's free to the side. Ladies, your right foot. From here you have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick. Notice that the slow is the larger step. The quick quicks are the much smaller steps. When you make the turn, guys, look at my elbows. Staying right with the hips. See that? All right, so notice the turn. Makes it much easier for the lady to follow me. Right? That helps. Yeah. So we're going to just keep your elbows over your hip. When you're doing your back break, it'll be much easier. By the way, that's the way you do it in a waltz too. When you're making a turn, and you just keep your, I call it the funny bone. You know it's not really funny. It hurts actually. All right. But that little bone that sticks out or sticks down, just imagine it was taught to me like this. Imagine if you had a thread from the funny bone to the hip, a thread. Do not let that thread sag or do not bust it. You keep it the same distance here as you're doing your turns or whatever. Then that changes, of course, when you get into an uh, open break, let's say. Okay, any questions? Ladies, when you dance your bolero, imagine you're dancing a waltz. Send your head over the left side of your hip, all right? Not in the middle of the body, like you would do a rumba, all right, or a salsa, or a cha-cha-cha, but for the bolero, by the way, this is a little more uh, uh, advanced, okay? It's not basic stuff, just a little more, okay? So for the ladies, when you're dancing your bolero, standing on your left, put your head over your left hip, okay? Back of your head, over the left hip, keep it there. Also keep your uh, funny bone over your left hip, funny bone over the right hip. So as you move for the slow, you rise at the end, you have a very small rocking step almost in place. Quick, quick, flex, move, slow, quick, quick. So notice that I'm using the floor. Uh, think of it like this. This is what help you guys to move the way you're supposed to move in the bolero. If I was to ask all of you guys to jump, everyone would go like this. And jump, right? And then and push up. When you, this is the, where the rise and fall occurs in the bolero. For the guys, imagine you're going to jump, but you're not. All what you're going to do is push yourself to the left. As you do your rock step, quick, quick. You pretend you're going to jump up, but you're not. You're just going to push. You're going to use the floor. You're going to use your foot and push. What's very important during all this process of course, is that you sustain and maintain your core. Some people call it the center, uh, the core of the body. Uh, what else is it called? Many things. Uh, anyway, uh, keep your body in a very upright position. In other words, your knees will bend. Do not allow your body to collapse. All right? So as you can see, my shirt is very plush. So if I'm doing any rise or fall, it stays the same way. This is what happens a lot of times, is we collapse our bodies. So, going back to your basic step, we're going to put the music on. Guys, what I want you to do is pretend you have the ladies in your hand, or in your arms, and then you're going to follow me for the slow. Ladies on the other side, watch that bow, young lady. You're going to stand on your left. Stretch your head over like you're dancing a waltz. Then you will follow the gentleman or myself, and you'll do your bolero on your own. Now, for the ladies and the gentlemen, you're responsible for your own balance. Okay? And the gentleman is not responsible for holding you. Okay? He's only responsible for connecting to you, connecting to you, and guiding or leading you. He's the leader. The ladies are the followers. So ladies, you want to stretch your upper body up. Keep those elbows up. When you're resting your arms on the gentleman, you want to be light. Okay? If I may. Okay. We have that music, guys. Get your arms up. Ladies, get your arms up. Okay, ladies, you point your right foot to the side. Guys, to the side.